Hi everybody, it's Adam and we are at the Heart Valve Summit in Chicago, Illinois. We're answering your questions that were posted at heartvalvelog.com. Uh, fortunate to be next to Dr. Stephen Bowling, who is the director of the Mitral Valve Clinic at the University of Michigan Ann Arbor. And we have a question that comes in from Doug, Dr. Bowling. He writes, I have severe mitral regurgitation and I need surgery. I'm considering two surgeons. One uses the robot and the other does not. Which is a better choice for me? So, Adam, first of all, thanks for having me oh, here today. Thanks. Doug, the question of the robot, as soon as we hear the word robot, we think cool, sexy, science fiction, space age. So the better question is not so much the robot or whether you're having it done through a, the front or the side or a big incision or a little incision. It's what's the experience of your surgeon? Because, Doug, your long-term survival will be dependent on having a great repair. So you want to get that surgeon who's done the most, who's done the most experience. Unfortunately, in the United States right now, the average number, as we know, of isolated mitral procedures per surgeon is only five. Five. Mm. And the average number of robot procedures per surgeon is only three. Mm. That's sort of like betting on somebody to win the Masters if they've only practiced golf three times a year. Maybe not a great bet. Right. So you want to go to the most experienced surgeon. You know, it's not amazing that the more you do something, the better off you are in it. It makes such a difference on somebody's outcome, whether they have a repair or a replacement. Now, if that surgeon can do it equally well with the robot or without the robot, fine, that's sort of dealer's choice, but you want to be having your repair and the guy with the best, most experienced hands. Great. And a follow-up, Dr. Bowling, is I'm a patient, I come to a surgeon, they tell me that they've done a certain amount, but I don't know anything about what the outcomes are. How do you as a patient, what do you suggest to patients to get the information that enables them to say, the experience is here, the outcomes are here, I'm going with this surgeon for this procedure? Those are the exact questions to ask for you, Adam, and for every patient out there. What is your experience? And it's very surgeon specific. It's not just a hospital or a center. What is your outcome? And with my problem and my mitral valve, what is your repair rate? And you have to expect the surgeon to be honest. Some of it is published. There's a lot of very good things on the internet. But I think establish that relationship between you as a patient and your surgeon. Ask them very honestly, what is your experience with this very particular lesion that I have a patient have? What's your success in repairing this? So ask those questions, even if they're difficult ask, as a patient. I think that's very important. Ask the difficult questions directly to your surgeon. And if that surgeon is very experienced, he will have the data to tell you those exact numbers. Great. Well, Dr. Bowling, as always, thanks so much for your